So what do you use high yield savings accounts for and what do you use certificates of deposits otherwise known as CDs? Well, a couple of pros and cons. High yield savings, generally there's no penalty for withdrawal. It's You can withdraw anytime you want so it's easy to access. You may have a minimum balance and that goes with CDs as well. Uh, the pros for CDs, you get a higher interest rates on CDs compared to you know, a high yield savings. And interest rates are locked in for a long term with a CD. This is important right now because interest rates look like they're going to start going down. And, and they started going down in September. And they're going to continue each Fed meeting probably in November and December of 2024. And likely that will continue through 2025. So if you lock in a higher interest rate and interest rates keep going down, your CD locks in that higher interest rate for whatever term that is. What's the con of having a high yield savings account? Well, it has variable interest rates. So this is going to continue to go down as we go through this uh, time period because the Fed is reducing interest rates. The con of a CD is that, generally speaking, depending on the length of the term of the, the CD, you usually have to forfeit the last three to six months of any interest that the account would have accrued. And that's for your early withdrawal. If you wait until the CD matures and you cash it at maturity, then that's fine. You get all the money. You don't have to forfeit any of the, uh, the interest. So the other con with the CD is you've effectively locked up that money for that many months or years, unless you're willing to, to forfeit whatever that interest is. So how do I use high yield savings accounts and CDs? Well, any money that I need in, say, in the next six months or a year, I generally keep that in a high yield savings account. Any money that I need to use in, say, the next one to five years, I open CDs. Generally focus on the one to two years. Uh, I'm not looking to, to use any of this money. As I get closer to retirement, I'm going to start going out to five years. But for right now, I generally have CDs around a year out. And I also look to invest most of my money in the, the stock market. So that and real estate. So any money I don't need to use in the next, say, one to five years, I'll put that money in CDs. And I'll build a CD ladder where I have uh, maturities that maybe a year, 18 months, two years, two and a half years, uh, all the way out to five years. And let's say I have CDs at one year or whatever. I'm not going to make one CD, like 50000 or whatever in one CD because if I have to break it early, I have to pay the penalty on all $50,000. So I don't want to do that. So what I'll do is I'll put like five grand, 10 grand, 25 grand, and I'll have uh, different amounts and different CDs all maturing at the same time. So if I ever need to get, say, $5,000 out, I only need to break the $5,000 CD. I don't have to break the other $45,000. That way I'm only forfeiting, you know, three to six months of uh, $5,000, not $45,000. If you like financial information and you want to learn how to make more money, how to save and how to invest, this is a channel for you. Please subscribe and have a great day. Thanks for watching.